everybody this is Patricia and welcome back to my channel today I thought I'd do something a little different I decided I wanted to copy someone's makeup look I've been seeing a lot of people do this on YouTube but I'm gonna do mine a little different I'm gonna copy Sophia Loren can you see that I'll insert the picture uh, right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to copy this look and I am not Sophia Loren. I tried to poof out my hair big like she did like in the late 60s and early 70s. Poof big hair. But yeah, this is the look I'm going to go for. I'm going to try it. So what I've already done, I already put my foundation concealer and I did some uh, contouring. But now uh, let's just go on from there. First I'm going to attempt, oh I put my... Um, eyeshadow primer already on as well. First I'm going to attempt those brows. Those brows are brushed up. So um, yeah, I'm going to see if I can do that. Let's see what I can. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to take my um, brow gal and just see if I can't brush them up and see if we can get that look. Or similar I mean I'm not gonna look like Sophia Loren let's let's be real I need to add some more product down here and just kind of give me a bushy brow there Do the other side. So all I'm doing is brushing them up. And I have to extend mine a little longer down the side here. They don't want to go up. They don't want to be that way. Now my brows are bushier than Sophia Laurent. But there we go. Like I said, I can't make make it look exactly like hers. But we're gonna we're gonna do the closest we can. Yeah. It looks like hers are are smaller and sparser than mine. Mine are much bigger, but I have them brushed up. Next, let's go on with the eyeshadow. It looks like she has just a natural color all over, maybe a warm uh, soft brown in the crease, and then a smoky darker, either dark brown or a charcoal on the actual lid. So that is what I'm going to do. Now, let's see, I am going to go over my entire uh, eyelid area with classic. I am using the Tardis Pro Palette and I'm going to go all over with this classic. Okay, next, using that same brush, I'm going to go into a soft brown. Let me see. Oh, it's kind of a warm brown. I'm going to go into um, right on top, Whimsy. I'm going to use a light hand, not too dark. And I'm going to work that in the crease. And above, just a little bit above, and just like a transition shade. My cat Charlie's just laying here watching every move I make. Oh, it might have went too dark. Let me grab my I'm gonna grab my blender. I want to blend that out. That's more color than I want right there. I'm gonna go back over with a bit of classic and see if I can tone down that. I put too much.
Yeah, that looks better. That's what I want. Just be careful. Already that looks like too much. Blend it, blend it. Going back in with classic. There, that's what I want. That is what I want. All right. Now I'm going to go with a darker shade on my lid. Don't want to go. I think I'm going to go with punked and I'm going to be very careful with it. So I'm going to use my flatter brush. I'm going to dab into that very carefully and work it on my lid. What is it, Charlie? She's gotten closer. She's like, what are you doing? This is not a look I normally do. This is not me. So that's one of the reasons I chose this. Plus, I mean, so feel her in. Come on. You know? I mean, really. That looks like it's... I have to fix that. We'll look at the picture again. She elongates her eyes. So I think I am going to stop with the um, color right now and move on to the um, gel eyeliner because she lifts her eyes up on the corners. And I want to get that part right before I continue putting eyeshadow on. So let me work on that. I'm going to get this liner on. It looks like it's a little thick. I'm sure she definitely has on fake lashes, but I think I am not going to do the fake lashes. Okay, I gotta get, I gotta juggle. I'm holding the, my phone, no, with my photo. Can I? Okay. Okay, I'm going to work some more with my eyeshadows to help even that out. I'm going to get my detail brush and go back into that dark shade.
which is called punk and what I'm going to do is we are going to extend this dark color out I think that looks a little better. Now I'm going to take again punk and put it just a little bit under my eyes here. Kind of match up with that uh, gel eyeliner I put under there. Just a little bit. Now let's put mascara on. Okay, got my mascara on. I think definitely my eyeliner could have been sharper. I need to really practice that a lot more. Not that I'm going to be walking around like Sophia Loren, but I do need a sharper eyeliner. Uh, not so thick on the bottom. Uh, here's the picture again. But um, not too bad. Not, not too bad. Not exact. If I was trying to look exactly like Sophia Loren, I would take this off and start over. But I think I'm close enough to looking like Sophia Loren. Just her style of makeup. Now, uh, I'm going to put some bronzer on because we all know Sophia likes to be tan, especially more now. She's older. But I'm trying to floof up my hair. <laughs> floof, that is a word Jennifer uses. Jennifer Gaines. Go check out her channel. But now I'm going to whoops, wrong brush. Get my get my bronzer on and bronze. Just put that bronzer all over. There we go. Now, also, I noticed in the photo, it looked like she had a little bit of a coral blush on. So I'm going to go with this uh, Essence Satin Blush in Satin Coral. And I am just going to put a dab on the apples of my cheeks. And then last is her lips. In the photo, she is wearing a, like a, maybe a little bit of a corally nude. I am going to go with my Ferris Nude uh, by uh, Colorish, the uh, L'Oreal Colorish. And I'm going, it, you can see her liner on that picture. I'm going to use this True Lips lip liner. It's in a coral color. It's actually uh, number 52. They don't have names. It's a whole set. You can get it for Big Bang Beauty. I have a uh, coupon code down below if you want to go and check these out. So I'm just going to line my lips. I'm not going to overline or anything. I'm just going to follow my natural lip line. Okay, now I'm going to put the nude lip on. And then I'm going to do one more little step because Sophia has got... Um, like a nice large bottom lip. I am going to take my detail brush. I'm going to clean it out really good because I had that color punk in there. And then I'm going to go into my bronzer. Get some on my brush. Make sure I got that black out. 
get some bronzer on my brush and now I'm going just under the lower lash I mean the lower lip right in the center And what I'm doing is giving me a shadow that I have a thicker, fuller lip. You can do that anytime you want if you want to really work on your lips. There we go. Now that is my my homage <laughs> to Sophia Loren. What do you think? I am liking it. I like it a lot. The eyes are a bit wild. I do want to practice more doing the wing and and all that. But you know what? I'm I like this. I like this look. So tell me guys, what do you think? And do you enjoy this? Would you like me to do makeup? Um I think I will anyway, but just I'll ask you, <laughs> would you like to see me do more of these? I think I'd like to do Elizabeth Taylor, maybe Joan Crawford. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to start doing that. So we'll just start with Sophia Loren. What do you think? There we go. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. If you're new to my channel, I would love it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you have any ideas for videos, I am really searching for ideas for videos, things you guys want to see. If you'll leave a comment down below, I would appreciate it. And again, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.